Hi, welcome to our Live for Christ series. This is a bonus episode. Lucky you. Well, <laughs> maybe luck's, you know, not the best word. Fortunate you. Bless you. Now that was spiritual, right? <laughs> Today we are going to check out how to live for Christ like a pioneer. Pioneers are the ones who lead the way into new frontiers, oftentimes overcoming hardships to do so. Yeah! Like the ones who settled the Wild West of America. Or uh, like this guy in the snow. <laughs> and I'm out here trying to build a snow tunnel. I was just digging this deck off. It was like this the whole way up until this point over here. Then my son was like, remember, snow tunnel. So I'm trying to dig one here. And uh, anyway, it's the first snow tunnel really like this size I've ever tried to do. But um Obviously, it's already pretty much set. I mean, here on the deck, this is the biggest problem right here. Uh, it falling on a, on the tunnel while we're in it. But I'm gonna have shovels out here anyway. So we're gonna be uh, adventurers here, snow adventurers, and try to dig through this tunnel. I've gotten pretty far. I've gotten about 10 feet, but you can't tell that because the loose snow down there that I dug up from the end of the tunnel, I have to. Um, have to figure out how to get that out. Shovels are kind of not made exactly ideally for that, but um, I guess I got a curve. Okay, bye. It often requires ingenuity to be a successful pioneer. I use this to scrape out things a little better. You know, I grab a big chunk and then I pull it and move my belly up, boom, scoop back, pull it like that. So it's coming pretty clean. I think we're at halfway, if not more. So that means start to dig from the other side. That's what that means. So I don't have to do the army crawl thing and take a lot longer. So, so far it's looking nice. Nice uh, cool and cool, uh, cozy in here, yeah. Being a pioneer often means doing something many others do not want to do or have never successfully done before. I have the desire to do tunnel. They'd rather just jump in the snow. That's okay. I think he's making a tunnel by jumping. All right, here's the tunnel on the other side. And I'm gonna see if I can get through it. Peyton's on the other side in the tunnel. It requires tenacity to be a successful pioneer. Dig in there. All right, doing the army crawl with my elbows. All right, oh, blocking it, sorry. Have this little paddle thing. All right, I gotta go. Often, being a pioneer requires perseverance in the face of difficulties and danger. About a foot every time. Here I am, this is my reflection in the glass here. Pretty snowy. Yeah, about a foot, about a foot of snow every time. I use this thing, it's just a piece of floor. And uh, yeah, I think I'm really close. We'll see. The danger of it, it collapsed on me. Like literally on me, but uh, Peyton, Peyton's digging me out. Oh wait, I'm already out. Yeah, I'm already out. He's not digging me out. Don't hit the glass with that shovel handle. But oh, okay. But uh, anyway, I, I think we almost made it all the way through when it fell on me. This is the real danger up here, off the roof, because that could collapse any time now. If that would have fallen on top of me, on top of the tunnel, that could have been really, uh, whew, yeah, could have been exciting, right there. Okay, so. This wasn't too bad though, because it wasn't that deep. And nah, that's intentional there. But um, all right, peace out. So why would someone ever want to be a pioneer, even though it can mean going through many hardships? Because they believe that their goal or whatever they are pioneering toward is too important or too rewarding to give up. Often they realize that they are not pioneering just for themselves, but they are pioneering for those who will come after them. They are blazing a trail that will make it easier for those who come behind them so that those who come behind them can reach that reward without as much hardship. For example, think of Paul the Apostle to the Gentiles who pioneered preaching the gospel to the Gentiles of the Roman world so that the Gentiles may be saved and be part of Christ's church. 
he gives us some insight into the attitude of a pioneer. Check out Philippians 4, 11 through 13 with me. He says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Paul was a pioneer because of his attitude. If God calls you to do something or to overcome as a pioneer, then he will give you the strength that you need. I love what he says. He learned, whether in good times or bad, to be content. He had a no complaining type of attitude. One that was thankful in all things, knowing that the Lord was with him in, in ultimate control. He was focused on the mission or the goal that God had for him. And he was strong in the faith, knowing that God is good, knowing that God is all wise and all powerful. Sometimes in life, our challenges are minor, yet sometimes we still find ways to complain about them. Those small trials are supposed to teach us to become more mature, to teach us to become content so that we can be prepared for the bigger trials. You may even find some things that you easily complain about may actually be opportunities to be blessed or even have fun. Here he is. Go ahead. Jump on your butt. Oh, those are your legs, man. You jumped on your legs. <laughs> That's good. Oh, you in there, Shay? Oh, boy. Wild times. <laughs> Case, and he just took the dive there. I'm going to help. What? Okay, but you have to come in upstairs. That's what I mean. Shaylin, there might not be as much of a spot. He just went down there. You gonna try that too, Shaylin? Okay, you're gonna go be the first through the tunnel. Okay. Now, sometimes we may be in a snowstorm or other storm in life that genuinely is bad. That even threatens our lives or our loved ones or our hopes for the future. Paul was there many times. And if you find yourself in a difficult, serious trial like that, I want to encourage you, do not give up. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. With Christ, you can have peace that passes all understanding. You can have joy in the Lord that gives you strength despite the pain. You can spiritually endure and come out stronger no matter what the outcome. If you have a faith in Jesus Christ, if he's your Lord and Savior, because you realize, you believe that he's Lord who died for your sins, who rose from the dead, who has given you eternal life simply because you confessed your sins, you forsook your sins in your heart, and you, and, you, and you called on him in faith. You called on him to be your Lord and Savior. Look, no matter what comes, God's, God wins in the end, and you get to be a part of it. He holds you in his hand, and he won't ever let you go. Now, I feel like saying more on this topic and sharing some treasures that come from the life of Job. And I also want to show you whatever happened with that snow tunnel. But for now, this will have to be continued. Until next time, don't give up. In whatever state you're in, learn to be content. Learn that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And live for Christ like a pioneer. God bless.